The materials you'll be needing are cardboard. I suggest using a flimsy piece of cardboard like cereal boxes, some brown candy. You'll also be needing some sort of plastic and I'm just going to use a water bottle. Start off by cutting a long strip of cardboard and then you want to mark three one inch increments. Then fold it along the lines that you just created. You could just cut off the excess. So we're going to put the square to the side and with the same strip of cardboard that you use for the square, get your piece of candy and just roll it around. So now we're going to insert the cylinder into the rectangle part. So now you should have one hole into the rectangle and you don't want the cylinder moving up and down so get a toothpick and poke it through the other side and put it through the cylinder. And now it shouldn't move around as much. Next cut a hole into the cylinder. Cut out a small piece of cardboard and then you're going to use it as a wrap so that it will roll diagonally down. And then you want to close off the bottom with some tape. Create a hole in the front for the prize chute. So now your candy should fall into the hole or to the side and when you spin it, it should fall down. So I don't know about you guys, but I think this looks pretty ugly, so you want to create a circle and then glue that so that it covers the hole. And if you'd like to add a knob, get a piece of cardboard, fold it in half, and kind of like bend it at the end. So that it looks like this. Next, create the lid for the top, and you want to create a hole in the middle of the lid. Make sure the hole is big enough for the candy to fit through and you just want to tape that on top. The rest is pretty self-explanatory, you just put on the sides and get a piece of plastic from your water bottle and you could just tape it on. So there is your miniature gacha pal machine. I created a hole in the back to put the candy in and now all that's left is to paint it and decorate it because this looks pretty ugly. Here's my decorated vending machine and it looks pretty messy because the paint I used is not meant for painting on cardboard. And if you want to make it into a keychain, grab an eye pin and tape it on or glue it on to somewhere. This machine is pretty sturdy. It's not really bendable so except for like right here. So it'll hang on really nice on your backpack. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and test this out. I got my bubble gun here. Here's my machine filled up and I failed. I should have put like little tabs on the side because now since I didn't, it falls out if you shake it. So I found an easy solution to this if yours is like falling all over the place like mine is. Pretend this is the knob over here and it's a cylinder inside. I can't take this out because it's already in there. But you get a piece of cardboard and fold it in half. And then fold it in like a little dent at the top, just like how we created the knob. So this is exactly how we created our knob. So you make the exact same thing you made for the knob over here. And you just place that on the bottom of your cylinder. I know it looks really messy and it's probably confusing. But basically these sides will just occupy the empty spaces. What will happen before is the prize will sometimes fall through the side right here because it's empty. But with this tab along with the cylinder knob, it'll just land right here and when you spin it, it'll drop. And I honestly don't think it's very sanitary to put real candy in there so I just created these like little fake miniature marshmallow looking candies. And so when you shake it, it doesn't come out anymore. Try spinning the knob now, and you can see the candy fall out. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!